nothing. Stop that right there. Stop. I have an officer now, 214 Main Street. Hey, drop that gun. Got him. Oh, thank the Lord. Stop right there. Foot bail. New Empire away. Foot bail. Yeah, drop that gun. Drop the gun. I'm <laughs> sorry. Where'd he go? That bitch on me, right? Show me in a row. Alright, got some kind of a burglary taking place down here. It's gonna be over here on the dirt road. Then we got some kind of a vehicle accident here. Twenty one request code three back up. Oh, shots fired! Oh my god! Yeah, leave it to my own freaking backup. Now I'm gonna die. Absurd, dude. Like, serious. God bless it! Oh, then there we go. What the hell? 21 request medical. Well, not only was I not in the right uniform, my own backup took me out multiple times. So that caused the jeopardy of that. Um, at least she survived, though. At least she survived. I'm going to let medical... Okay, guys. There's no need to follow me like that. I'm going to let medical kind of work their magic. Um, I'm going to clear off all this backup. I'm going to identify her and... We'll have a little discussion in the meantime. Not the freaking door, dude. We'll call you a taxi so you can kind of get out of here. All right. Uh, detectives will be uh, contacting you shortly. As far as all these cars go, I'm going to clear off all the backup. And once when everyone kind of disperses out of here, we'll start getting some uh, tow vehicles back here to take these two vehicles out of here. I got a tow truck. Uh, two of them actually en route for both these vehicles. We're going to get some flatbeds in here. Oh, hold on. Let me move my car. Or don't. That works. Roger. Let me move my car for you. All right. Attention, all units. Oh. We have. Shots fired. Shots fired. Where's he at? Um, route 68. Respond code three. Show me in route. Ten four. Copy that. I think it's down here. No. Okay, never mind. I think they're code four. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and get back out on the road. That call has been taken care of. I see you guys out there. We have a Grand Theft Auto. A large. <laughs> Richmond. Okay. Show me in route. So this is that. It's gonna be over in Richmond. We're gonna try to head over there as fast as we can. We're actually right down the road from it. I didn't realize we were this close to Richmond, but all right. I guess I didn't realize where I was. It's actually going to be right here. Large vehicle. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely a large vehicle. Alright. I'm going to wait for everyone to get off the freaking radio. 21, show me pursuit. Eastbound Dorset Drive, Postal 390. Dispatch believes that the driver is Isaiah. Wildmore, Wildmore. All right. We're gonna go get some more units in here. He's going pretty slow, but in order for me to like really stop him, I'm gonna need some help. So, oh, he just rammed a city unit. Oh, he's bulldozing him. That's gonna be it, though. That's gonna be it, though. Out of that truck! Out of that truck! Alright, uh, he went to go run over uh, one of our female officers. So I went ahead and uh, opened fire on him. Get him back in the truck. Get out of the truck. 
Get on the ground. Quinn, get on the ground. I want you to say just like that for me, buddy! Christ almighty. Alright. Let me shut off my sign really quick. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and patch it down make sure you don't have anything illegal on you at all. Alright. I don't know what the heck you're running for, but that has got to stop. Oh, and I keep forgetting to get rid of that stupid pause menu. His name really is I, uh, Isaiah uh, Wildmore. He had absolutely nothing of interest on him. We're going to go ahead and grab him, put him in my car. We'll search the truck, and then we'll get these charges underway. All right, so he had uh, several pounds of cocaine in the truck with him, so uh, we went ahead and called a tow truck for that. We will seize all drugs from him, and this is our guy. He is actually on probation, so that'll that, that'll strike up some issues. So as far as uh, charges go, we're going to charge him with fleeing and eluding. We're going to charge him with possession of cocaine, and we'll also charge him with violation of probation right there. And we'll submit all these charges. Uh, I'll go ahead and have a prisoner of transport take him away for me, and then we'll go get back out on the road. Attention, all units. Silent alert trigger and parental del sol. Show me in route. 10-4, copy that. 21. Alright. Call detail specifically only says a security alarm. Get out of my way. Golly. Um, so we'll go ahead and head over there. Uh, we'll respond to lights and sirens. Try to race down there as fast as we can and I'll meet you guys over on scene. Right, I'm uh, arriving on scene now. I'm trying to find him. I just heard a scream. 21, show me on scene. Uh, I'm hearing screaming going on over here at 308. Dispatch calling unit David Charles 12. Citizens reporting a civilian in need of assistance. Let's try going down this alley and seeing if uh, we can't find him. Got him! Right here. The spooky units respond code 20. I'm sorry, what is this call detail about again? A silent alarm. Why? I'm gonna pull my gun out. This doesn't seem right. What in the heck? What? 21 request medical. This doesn't make any sense. Like, what in the world? This Ambulance. cannot be related. There's no and way. Del Sol. I don't think this is related. I think I just happened to stumble across this. Uh, I'm gonna let EMS take care of this situation. I'll remain on scene. Um, and then we'll try to look for them. I don't, I really don't think this is related. All right, so EMS just took away those two. I'm gonna go ahead and get back in my car and see if uh, I can't relocate because I don't think this is related like at all. So um, let me search the area and I'll follow up with you guys. Yeah, I've, uh, I went up to some of these uh, properties, asked around. There's really no alarm that's going off in the area. Um, so I don't know what was going on here, but I I can find nothing. So we're going to head back out onto the road, and I'll see you guys out on the next call. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this vehicle over. Uh, for one, they merged over into this lane without a turn signal, and then they used their vehicle and lunged it towards a pedestrian that was crossing the crosswalk. So we'll get out and have a little chat with this driver. Alright, what's going on, dude? Driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance, please. I'm going to check make sure you have your seatbelt on. And you do. Alright, here's the thing. Moving violations. Pulled you over because you're driving a little bit reckless and careless. Calm your horses, please. Yeah, I don't really appreciate you talking to me like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and run your information really quick. Uh, sit tight for me, alright? Holy shoot. Okay, this is her. Suspended driver's license, and she has a warrant for arrest for endangerment. I went ahead and called for backup. Um, we're going to do a high-risk stop on this individual. Just going to wait for uh, the rest of the units to get here. Alright, she's walking backwards now. Fantastic, she's complying. I don't remember if I saw anyone else in the vehicle. I'm highly doubtful of it. 
We'll at least cover until a uh, additional unit walks up to her. Okay, he's starting to walk up to her now. We move on to the car in case if there's anyone else in the vehicle that's hiding. Alright, he's got her cuffed. While he's doing that, I'm going to approach the vehicle and clear it. Make sure there's no one else actually hiding in the car. And we are clear. Fantastic. They're going to take her to the back and they'll talk to her. And I'm going to go search this vehicle. Alright, she's got a metal spoon with black powder and pocket knife and a PCP. She also has some narcotics in the car as well. So, uh, this will be her arrest report. We'll charge her with driving with, uh, or driving on a suspension. I'm gonna go ahead and charge her with reckless driving for taking her vehicle and lunging it towards a pedestrian. I'm gonna charge her with possession of a controlled substance and paraphernalia. We're gonna go ahead and submit these charges. I'll have one of the officers on scene go ahead and take her away. Uh, we'll get a tow truck for the vehicle, and I'll see you guys out on the next, uh, call. Show me in route. Copy, 21. Alright, we got reports of a hospital emergency. Excuse me, folks. Um, unstable patient has reportedly escaped from the hospital. Uh, we'll, Alright, well, that's a more of a timing matter, so we're going to go to respond lights and sirens then. I'll meet you guys over on scene. Alright, we're starting to pull up now. Alright. 21, show me on scene. All right, let's have a little chat with the nurse. How's it going? Negative, none of the same. What's going on? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but we got a big problem here. Just had a patient escape, but has a known history of serious mental health issues. Uh, they're saying um, some really concerning and threatening things before they escape. Do you know where they went? I have no clue, but you have to find them as soon as possible. All right. Sounds good. She's going to give me the medical records. Uh, paranoid personality disorder and depression. Uh, Julio Tadello, I believe is the name. So we're going to go ahead and uh, search the area uh, for this individual. And we are running really low on fuel on top of it. So I might fuel up really quick. All right. She's going to be back here, maybe. No, she was on the runway. I passed her. Shit. Dang it, how'd I pass her? I will go ahead and initiate stage three. Guys, get out of my way. Like, what the heck? Oh, there she is. All right. Listen, I need you to stop for me. Jesus. Stop. Just stay just like that for me. Don't move. Don't move. I'm not here to hurt you. I just need to take you into custody. Very good. Thank you very much. 21. All right. Come with me, please. Be advised, you let the hospital know we located her. We're going to be at 399 uh, Lipiota Freeway. All right. We're going to go ahead and pet you down to make sure you don't have anything illegal since you broke out of the hospital. I don't really know what all you've got on you. Um, and you know, wire cutter. So, uh, there's that. I'm going to have dispatch run her name really fast, uh, see what comes back to it. Um, she won't be charged at all, but we will admit her to the hospital. So. Holy crap. All right, she's about with uh, no warrants or anything like that. I'm going to have a uh, additional officer take her to the hospital. I'm not going to charge her with anything at all. Um, but I'll have another officer take her down to the hospital uh, for me. And then we'll go ahead and hit the road and get back out on there. I will right, we'll catch you guys on the next call, folks. We've got a disturbance in Backlot City. Units respond code 2. Show me in route. 10 copy, 21. Got some sort of a trespass going on. Uh, security is calling it in. I guess it's private property. Um, so we'll go to respond over there. We're not too far away. 21, show me on scene. 10 copy that. And backup required. Negative. Let's figure out what's going on with him. Um... Looks like he's taking pictures, and he's doing it on their property, which they don't want. So, let's see if we can have a little chat with him. Excuse me, sir. 
Nothing? Is, is there no dialogue script to be had? Alright. Well, hey, here's the thing. Go ahead, stop for me. You have an idea on you? Alright, uh, I guess you're on their property taking pictures. They don't want you here. Alright, Alex Plasma. I'm gonna have dispatch run this really quick. The city is just going berserk today. Suspended driver's license. Alright. Alright, what are you doing in this area? Looks away. Alright, well, someone called in and reported that, you know, you were here taking pictures. They didn't want you here. You have a description so I could help. But you are the, the description there, buddy. Uh, well, you're, you know, so you're the possible suspect right now, right? You're joking, right? No. Nope. No, I am not. I mean, if, if you could just go and leave their property for me, that'd be great. Um, although if you come back, I'm gonna have to arrest you for trespassing, okay? Um, so, have a better day, buddy. He's actually not leaving the property. So, this guy is not leaving the property at all. Hey, dude. What did I just tell you earlier, bro? I told you that you needed to leave the property. So, because you're not leaving now, I'm going to place you on a uh, place you arrest. Oh, my goodness. Place you in custody for trespassing, okay? He said arrest, and it screwed up my entire sentence. <laughs> All right. So, that's what's going to happen today. I don't want to do this, but I don't have much of a choice. All right. Nope. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I needed to search you first. All right, went ahead and searched me. Had nothing of interest on him at all, so we'll go ahead and rack up these charges. Uh, it's, it's just gonna be one, um, and I'm kind of hoping that it's actually in this thing right here. Um, property. Went ahead and charge him with criminal trespassing. Mike, oh, good lord! This is ridiculous. Wow, it is a little too hectic right now in the city. I'm gonna go ahead and get a prisoner of transport uh, for this guy. Um, as far as the uh, whatchamacallit goes, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this mod in here that has AI responding to calls. And the biggest reason being is they will, the cars will get stuck uh, in a code three response. And it is rather quite annoying. Um, I'm wondering if I can change something within the INI to change the rate in which they get calls because they get calls like more than I do and it's like you're hearing sirens almost the entire patrol <laughs> it gets a little annoying so I'm going to play around with it see if I even can uh, but it may get pulled out and I understand a lot of you guys like this mod because um, it gives you something else to listen to so I you know, makes it seem more alive, and I get it. I'm right there with you guys, but uh, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll go to respond to this uh, 911 call of a vehicle in a ditch. They want a code three response is over in La Mesa, so I'll go respond over there, and I'll catch you guys over on scene. 21, I'm on scene. All right, let's see here. There he is. Required. Negative. Mm, shots fired! Oh, this is not a good. I see him he's right there. Yep. Damn it. Listen, bro, you don't want to do this, man. This is not going to end well for you. Stop. Oh, I see you. I have no problem shooting my car up to kill you. Okay, this is not a good spot. Don't get up. Don't get up. Do not reach for that weapon. I want you to stay right there. I'm going to take that gun from you. Fantastic. I just want to be clear. Where are we shooting at now? Oh, 
red. All right, I think we're good. Hello? Point one, request medical. Nine eight, Innocence Boulevard. We're right underneath the little big horn. All right, he uh, did not make it, so we went ahead and called corner. Um, I'm gonna go get a car, tow truck for his car, uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, check out some of these court cases. All right, Isaiah Wildmore was charged with fleeing and looting, possession of cocaine, and violation of probation. He was found not guilty on count two. He was granted probation for count one with a license suspension of 35 months. He is fined in total $1,193, sentenced to eight months in prison. Vanessa Starr, charged with driving under suspension, reckless driving, possession of a controlled substance, and drug paraphernalia. She was found not guilty on count two. She was uh, granted probation on count four. She has a license suspension for 27 months on count one. She was fined $1,302, sentenced to one year and six months in prison. Alex Plasma was charged with criminal trespassing. He was fined $73, sentenced to one month in prison. All right, folks, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, LSPFR has finally been fixed. Um, if you guys cut the live stream yesterday, which would have been on Sunday, uh, you would have been able to hear that the whole issue with the Rage launch or the Rockstar launcher having issues and breaking the game. That is all fixed now. So uh, we are finally in the game. New graphics mod. So I went ahead and pulled out NVE. The biggest reason being I have kept having a bunch of uh, memory uh, crashes. You got that memory error. Uh, no matter what I tried, kept, kept getting a bunch of crashes. So I went ahead and pulled it out thinking it was a little bit... Uh, too heavy for the game because I had NVE on top of uh, reshade pulled NVE out put in quant V with reshade and not only does this game look pretty good I've not had that uh, that crash report pop up uh, ever since so uh, for right now and, and until we start upgrading this PC uh, this is gonna be uh, the graphics mods that we are currently using all of which is free uh, so uh, you guys can check that out at your leisure. Other than that, folks, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. Please be safe out there. Hope you everyone had a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you folks on the next one.